Good day there. Hi, um, okay, so I'm going to do a very small book haul and show you the books that I'm reading right now. Pretty much. Um, alright, without zoning out 10,000 times, here we go. Um, I went to Big W, which is like Walmart, I guess something like that you know department store and I picked up two books and I also got one book in the mail this week uh, the first one which I'll show you the one I got in the mail was is called Parrot Fish by Ellen Whitlinger Whitlinger um, I heard about Sorry about the glare. I heard about this book from a uh, Dylan DM friend, and I'll just read you the back. It says, One little thing changes, and suddenly everything is different. Angela Katz McNair has never felt quite right as a, as a girl. Her whole life has led up to the day she decides to become Grady, a guy. While coming out as transgendered, she feels right. As uh, transmitted feels right to Grady, he isn't prepared for the reactions of his friends and family. His mother is upset, his little sister is mortified, and he, even his best friend Eve won't talk to him in public. Why can't people just let Grady be himself? Grady's life is miserable until he finds finds friends in unexpected places. In unexpected place places. School geek Sebastian, who tells Grady that there is a precedent for precedent for transgenders in the natural world, and Keita, a senior who might just be Grady's first love, with their help, can Grady find support and acceptance? Can he finally be comfortable as his true self? I didn't give that justice very well, but um, I've been looking for books like this forever. I don't even know if I actually no, I haven't did a haul on it. I don't know. Um, my brain just is not working as always. Sorry if I have put this into a hole, but I don't remember doing it. Um, but yeah, I really cannot wait to read this. It's like, like I said, it's a topic that I really like reading about, and I don't hardly ever, ever get to read a book about um, this kind of stuff. And for me, I think that's important that people actually do talk about it and read about it because it is part of growing up as well. I know myself, I went through similar things when I was um, in my early teens, late teens actually, and still going through some of them. And I know how hard it is, so I cannot wait to read this. And I hope that it is a good book. It sounds like a good book. And... It's fairly, oh sorry, it's fairly well faunted. It's it's like a, it's a teenage book, so, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading this. I'm hoping to read it very soon. I started, I might as well show you now, I started reading Shadow Kiss by Rochelle Mead, which is the third book. I don't know why I picked it up. Okay, I probably do because I really want to finish this series and I haven't read this book for ages. This series for ages rather. But I don't know why I picked up such a chunky book after finishing another one. And I'm already still trying to get through the Carrie Diaries. I'm about that far in. And I wanted to have this finished by the weekend so I could start another book. But I'm not sure. Um, I'm hoping tonight I can have a nice reading night. It's just that this book is very awkward to hold. Um, I don't like the paper that very, very much, and it's awkward to hold the book, so it takes a while to read because I usually read on my side in bed. So that's what I'm reading at the moment, plus um, an ebook for review. So, and that's what I got in the mail. So I picked up two books from Big W, the department store. I wasn't going to pick up any. Because I kept reading some of them and I'm very picky at the moment. Um, I'm just not in the mood for plain Jane books really. And I kind of, I think I found a plain Jane book but I'm not that worried because I wanted to buy another book by this author to see how her style was 
um, if it was different or anything like that. So this is uh, Sweet Travel by Suzanne Mallory. I just read Already Home and did a review on it. You can find it on my blog and on my channel. It says, is there anything sweeter than a first love? Jesse Keys has done something has done some serious growing up. With a steady job and a vibrant four-year-old son, Gabe, she's in a far better place than when she left Seattle five years ago, pregnant and misunderstood by almost everyone in her life. Now it's time to go home and face her demons. But her sisters, Claire and Nicole, aren't exactly impressed with the new and improved Jesse. And then there's Matt, Gabe's father, who makes it clear that he never wants to see her again, despite the lust that still smolders between them. Jessie doesn't know if she can make up for all the mistakes of her past, but the promise of sweet nights with Matt might just give her the extra incentive she needs to make it worth the trouble. So it's a romance, Mills and Boone's romance. Oh, grown. Everybody grown. Um, maybe not. But I thought, you know, coming up, I'm going to really, I'm going to want to read some serious books and... I wouldn't mind taking this maybe along with me on a train or something because it's fairly small. It's mass produced paperback thing. And yeah, or soon enough because I just like the size of it and it's easy to hold and it's flimsy. I, I, I feel like a flimsy holding book at the moment, even if it is a bit chunkier. I'm just not in the mood to hold a really thick, chunky book because um, by the time I go to bed, I'm just too tired. To hold anything I can't even hold my eyes open so it's a, and this one is a fairly it's a fairly big book too it's 374 pages so fair size book so I'm hoping to read that soon uh, what I'm trying to do is buy one book and read it because that challenge is one of the challenges I chose to do this year and I've hardly done it really so, and I'm kind of biding my time between getting the books that are coming out very soon. Like, um, the next book in the Hush Hush series and Hush Hush, Hush Hush series and such and so forth. And Blue Bloods and Lola and the Boy Next Door. A couple of other series books that I'm anticipating. Read the books on your shelf. No, I'm not going to. Uh, and lastly... I picked up this book. I just barely looked at it. I didn't read hardly any of it. I've never seen any reviews on it. I just picked it up because um, it just sounded really interesting when I read the back. It says, Who are you? I say. I'm your husband, Ben, he says. You had an accident a long time ago. You have trouble remembering things. What things? Everything. I'm scared. Don't worry. I'll look after you. I'll always look after you. Uh, it's by S. J. Watson. And I'll read. I don't really think it has a synopsis per se. It just says, each night when Christine Lucas goes to sleep, her mind erases a day. Each day when she wakes, she tries to put the puzzles of her life together. But how can she know who she is if she forgets her past? How can she love someone she can't remember? Are there things best forgotten? And why is she so frightened? And apparently this is a thriller, so looking forward to it. I'm thinking this is what I'm going to read um, after I finish Carrie Diaries because I really need this. I really need a thriller, um, something intense that I can get into, something that's going to fuck with my brain pretty much in a good way. Um, I miss things like this. I miss reading things like this. Lately I've just been reading fluff and not really, it's not fluff per se, but I think I need something a little bit more intense to make my brain um, react to life in general. So look forward to hopefully reading this soon, even though I have many, many intense novels on my shelf. Oh. Also, I'm thinking maybe about selling some of my books um, either this year or next year, I'm thinking if I've read the book and it hasn't been exactly my favourite book, I'm going to sell it anyway, because 
how do I say, I'm not going to sell the books that I really dislike, dislike, but the books that I did like, but not enough to keep them, I want to pass them on to other people so that they can read them, because not everyone has the same opinion. So my bookshelf is going to be a little bit less, but it, it may be um, a little less. I'm really hoping that it will be next year, because I, I really, I seriously don't think that I'll get around to reading all those books but next year I'm going to be doing a very 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 intense and hard challenge where I don't buy any books at all so next year I will not have that many hauls I've kind of already um, discussed this with my partner that even if I give him money he's not to buy me books unless it's an occasion say for my birthday or Easter or Christmas not Queen's birthday weekend or you know um, I don't know long weekend shopaholic weekend no I can only he can only buy me books on special occasions like that because I prefer books over chocolate Easter eggs anyway and there is going to be some rules when I say I can't buy books, I can kind of, but I'll go into that probably next next year. I don't really need to worry about it, neither do you guys. But for the people who want to stay with my channel, next year I will be having less book reviews, ah, uh, book hauls. But I'm I'm actually kind of hoping that instead of having hauls. I'll, I'll still be doing videos like what I wish for, what I'm pining for, books I really want to get, books I'm saving up to get, and things like that. So, and I'm hoping there'll be a lot more reviews because I won't be buying books and I'll be shuffling them off. So yeah, I think I've talked for long enough. It's probably good to see my face right, guys, instead of hiding behind a camera. Not that I was hiding behind a camera, but you know what I mean, like it's good to get that whole thing and I'm out of practice at looking at the camera so Tim I will get on to looking at the camera I still remember your request I'm going to try okay so I hope you're all doing okay and I hope that you're reading something interesting and intense and yeah thank you guys for your support I cannot believe I have 115 subscribers I know it's small in comparison to other people but I greatly appreciate it. It just makes me respect. So thank you guys and happy reading. Bye.